Welcome to another World of Tanks subscriber replay. My name, as always, is Maxwell, and today's video is from the user Thunderhawk93, and he's driving the KV-1S on an encounter battle on Ensk. Now everybody knows the power and what the KV-1S is capable of, and with this being the top tier tank, I'm pretty sure we are all certain of what is about to transpire. But I thought today I just wanted to bring you some mindless carnage and watching lots of tanks getting blown to hell. So without further ado, let's get into this clip. So, spots the ELC EMX and destroys him. <laughs> so the ELC EMX obviously pushing up there to get some early scouting in, not counting on running headlong into the 1S there and getting blown to bits for his trouble. Notices an M3 Lee making a beeline up the train tracks and punishes him for his hubris. Also, how dare he try and sneak up the train tracks. So making a good impression on this flank so far, fired two shots, got two kills. Anybody who dares to show themselves so far is getting blown to hell. Just seeing if he can get a shot on this T-40, but it looks like he's still shielded by the brick wall. I apologise if my voice is a little off today. Oh, can he get that? Of course he can. Three shots, three kills. Sorry if my voice sounds a little off today, but I am suffering from a little bit of a cold. So apologies right off the bat. So, spots this, uh, this panzer. Gonna see if he can sneak past, but no, nope. crashes into the trap into the tanks instead and gets destroyed for his trouble. So there's four shots, four kills. So he's holding this flank pretty effectively all by himself. So this SU-85, he's probably gonna try and poke out. Hopefully he can get a shot. Manages to get a good hit, but not able to retreat in time. Five shots, five kills. So it looks like his allies have just decided that they are not necessary on this flank whatsoever and are falling back to the centre and the far left hand flank to get a base capture underway because the KV-1S is all that is required to hold this flank. Going to see if we can get a shot on that Hertzer, but it looks like he's disappeared behind the, uh, the hill there. So there's a 3001P. Unfortunately I don't think he's got enough hit points for him to be able to take out in one shot. And unfortunately not so. Breaks his Reaper streak there. Five shots, five kills. But able to lay some good damage on that VK there. And he's still got an 85B. Oh, this Hertz is going to try and have a shot. He's going to regret this. Oh no, gets behind the truck. And deciding to switch his attention to one of the high, more high priority targets who will be able to get some serious damage into his rear. So able to finish off the 85B there, no problem whatsoever. The Hertz are still trying to have a shot at his backside, but it looks like he's probably only got the stock gun or a not very well upgraded gun as not even able to penetrate the rear armour. So just going to play chasey with this guy until he can get a shot on him and take him out as well. So yes, the KV-1S more than capable of holding a flank against uh, eight or nine enemies without any support. And as you can see, the base cap is already going up, 99, 100, and that is GG. So thank you very much to Thunderhawk93 for sending us in this clip of Absolute Mindless Violence, and thank you to you guys for watching.